I'm going to show you how to make a cheap vacuum pump. Um, I have this one running right now. And you can see the vacuum is pulling on on it pretty far. So, what, what you'll need is just a regular uh, pump uh, from like your refrigerator or an air conditioner. I believe this is on a refrigerator. Um, it has to be 120 volts, so you can plug it in. So you just, uh, you know, mark the cord. So, so I guess this was on the extension cord, yeah. You want to move it around. Um, I just have a set of gauges on here to see, you know, how it's doing and how it's pulling on, which is doing pretty good. So, but for the you can hear it running now. Um, this one is obviously your pressure line, and this one your suction line. So you don't need that silver saw or something on there, or this one has a um, compression fitting to the refrigeration fitting. Or you can silver saw or something on that will hook to a refrigeration hose. Alright, just so you have your refrigeration hose. And you can actually pull on full vacuum on uh, something probably very small. This, this is also, this is a uh, refrigeration fitting to the uh, 134E fitting. This is just kind of mocked together. Um, and basically this one just go on here on the other side of your refrigeration fitting. And that would allow you to hook it up to a 134A system and pull vacuum. I would say this would be great for like a car. Use it on a car, but you can use it on anything. But vacuum pumps are very expensive. And if you just need to pull vacuum on cars or uh, small systems, or I guess you can even try a big system. I don't know if it works or not. I just want to show you how to make a cheap vacuum pump. Um, you can even do a little experiment with it. So, there you have it. Um, how to make a cheap uh, home vacuum pump. It does pull a decent vacuum. And, uh, um, if you need it for a small garage or a hobbyist, this is a great idea. It's a compressor. There's your two pieces you need. Make sure it's 120 volts. And any compressor will do.